Hello, siblings! Welcome to Thursday's video. Um, I've been doing good about keeping my room clean, but it's a little messy over there, so we're gonna ignore that. Okay, today is going to be a fun, exciting video that I've been wanting to film for a while, and it is going to be a story time of how I got a hole in the side of my head. So if you did not know, I have a little hole in the side of my head. Here, I'll try to show you guys. Right there. Little hole in the side of my head. And so, I obviously do not remember this um, time because I was two years old. And um, yeah, so I was two. So I don't even like remember any of it. And obviously I was like, okay, actually you don't know the story so I can't say obviously. Okay, so let me just tell, <laughs> tell the story. So I was two, I think, I think I was two. It was raining outside and the ground was apparently really slippery and I was sitting in my car and my dad was going to be a very kind person and so he was carrying me and my brother, I'm not sure which one, and I had like socks on apparently or something like that so like we wanted to be carried inside and we were at my cousin's house and like my cousin's house walking in has this like wood, uh, not wood, a uh, brick step up onto like their like door area kind of like at my house if you guys have seen these steps but so it was raining and my dad was walking and he slipped and he dropped me and I hit my head on the corner of a brick and so um, they took me to the doctor and to the hospital whatever and they were like it's fine like she doesn't need anything gave me a band-aid like then I stitch it up or anything and then it ended up leaving a hole and so the doctors kind of flopped there and now I have a hole in the side of my head but I could get it fixed but I don't really want to like I just think it's kind of funny and it's just like part of me I've always had it so like you know why get it fixed um I'm realizing the story time was not very long plus I don't remember it so I'm gonna mix it with another story time but um that's where it's really funny because people always be like why is there a hole inside your head and like sometimes it's like a conversation starter like people I don't even know and I'm just like uh -huh, my dad dropped me on a brick that's what I always say and people are always like what and then I like explain they didn't necessarily just like drop me on it like you know it was raining so also when I was two um <laughs> So it was my parents' anniversary and they were off at dinner and I was at my grandparents' house and I think um, like my brothers were down at the pool and I was two, I already said that, and my grandma was down at the pool and my grandpa was watching me. And so we went out onto his porch and I remember this again, this is all stories that I've been told. And there was like a railing and the bars right now, I think are like this far apart, but back then they were like this far apart and they put more in because of this. So. I was standing like near the edge and my grandpa was getting really worried so he held up his keys or something and he was like Sid like come get this come get this like trying to get me closer like it was a game and apparently I stepped back instead of stepping forward and I fell off the deck and like this is like 12 feet off the ground I literally fell I landed like on my head I think and like there was a blood stain and like so I've been told and so I was rushed to the hospital my parents had to come back from the anniversary dinner and like check on me and like um, I almost died like my whole church was like praying for me so I've been told and like all this stuff like and apparently if I was like a little bit heavier then I would have died <laughs> so like um, I guess I was the perfect weight but yeah I hit my head pretty hard I cracked my cranium I think and which is your skull and so yeah pretty traumatic time being too you know dropped on a brick fell off the deck um, great childhood right there um so i'm also gonna mix this with some of my stories of my brother's babysitting me so okay there's this one time i distinctly remember and i will never forget and i think this is the reason i have a phobia of the dark and spiders like those are my two things i cannot like if i see a spider even if it's tiny i can't even kill it because i'm too scared to kill it like someone has to kill it for me that's how bad it is so this one time my brothers were in charge of babysitting me and we were at my dad's and he was gone and he wasn't remarried at the time so single dad no one else was there so my brothers were in charge of babysitting me i was probably in like fourth grade so that means my oldest brother was in he's like in 11 no that doesn't make any sense he was in high school i think so yeah um i'm really bad at telling stories what was i okay so i was really annoying as a child <laughs> 
and I would scream all the time for nothing and I would cry and scream and cry and scream and cry and scream and cry and like when I mean scream like it wasn't just like a like ah, I'm so mad it was like a little like ah, like screech type of scream just like for no reason pretty much so I don't know what I was screaming about or crying about but my brother's way of getting me to stop crying was doing something that would make me cry more and I was so like frustrated like that doesn't even make any sense like you're being annoying so we're gonna shove you in a closet until you stop crying like being shoved in a closet is gonna make you cry so we had built this shed outside that was like attached to our porch and so the only way to open it was from the outside you press a little lever thing and then you can open it but you can't open it from the inside and the light switch is on the outside and so they put me in the shed shut the door turned the lights off and I was screaming crying like I just remember freaking out and they were like Sid shut up like as soon as you stop talking or like stop screaming we'll let you out and like I remember not being able to collect myself and then I saw a spider and I lost it and just like when I was a kid like my brothers would like throw spiders on me and like shove me into closet like this is not the first time I also remember being shoved into a closet turning the lights off and like just things like that you know my brothers loved me so much as a child obviously um <laughs> Did you guys hear that? That was the weirdest noise I've ever made. Anyway, so my brothers pushed me into the shed, locked me until I stopped screaming, and then when I got out, I remember just like freaking out, screaming at them, being so mad, and then like I told my dad when he got back, and like they got in trouble. But like whenever I would scream at my brothers, I would get in trouble too for screaming when I'm really just trying to defend myself. Like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Ugh. Okay, also, going along with my childhood, um, my room was upstairs and it was across the hall from the bathroom and I was terrified of toilets. I s okay, I really haven't told anyone this. I am terrified of toilets still. Like, when I flush a toilet, like, I'm out of there. Like, I hate, like, I <laughs> I feel like the toilet is gonna eat me. And like, I'm, I'm scared of them, I really am. And I'm also scared of baths because I think whales are gonna come up and attack me or sharks or something. I don't know. Um, also at my gym, the pool, I remember always being scared because there's a mural of a bunch of whales and I'm scared that there's whales in the pool. I don't know. These are all just like random things. And now I'm telling you guys like the most embarrassing things about me. So that's fantastic. Um, <laughs> but uh, where was I? So the, the toilet was across the hall from me. And so I remember at night like, I hated having my door shut all the way because like if something happened I wanted to scream out to my dad because he was right down the hall so I always made him crack the door open but sometimes he would forget to close the bathroom door and the toilet was right there and I could see it and I'd get scared and I'd be like <laughs> like like I could, I could not handle it. And then also, I always slept with my closet light on, which now I have to sleep in the pitch black dark, even though I'm scared of the dark. Like I get a flashlight and walk myself up to my bed, and then once I'm finally comfy, then I turn the flashlight off and like close my eyes and I don't open them again. But I'm getting off topic. Um, so yeah, I was terrified of toilets, and I would like scream and cry if I could see the toilet. Also, I would leave my closet door open with the lights on, so I wasn't in the dark and I had these dolls that would sit up on the thing and like I was not I wasn't always scared of dolls but I started becoming more scared than the older I got and I loved playing with the dolls during the day but I hated them at night and so they would just sit there and stare at me and I had these like twins and they were terrifying and like like oh I'm gonna have nightmares tonight now fantastic but yeah, those are like my horror stories of my childhood. This started as how I have a hole in my head and now it's just like all of the terrible things, but it's actually a really good childhood. Um, fun fact, I was basically raised by boys. Um, so my parents got divorced when I was six and I lived with my dad and I have I had two brothers at the time, just my two real brothers, and then I had two cousins who were basically my brothers, Mav and Dallas, they came over like every day. And I remember like my brothers would always have friends over and stuff. So like there were always boys around me. Like I'm I'm literally a boy. Like I was raised to be a boy. But um like I remember always taking them Brahms at the skate park and like they would they always went through phases of like biking, skating, like all these things. So we always went to the skate park and bring them food. Like that's just like my how my childhood was. And it was really fun. And I always did like you know, stuff with them. So yeah. There were my childhood horror stories slash just like everything 
I don't even know this video like took a spin so yeah that's that's it that's all I got and yeah so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you're laughing at my stories and thought that they, they were relatable or funny I don't know but uh, my brothers do love me um, we actually miss each other a lot we FaceTime all the time and call and text like they don't hate me I promise we live in Utah right now but I'm going to see them in like two weeks so I'm super excited about that so yeah, that is it for this video. Subscribe if you're new. My social media is down below and stay tuned for more videos. I post every day and on Thursdays I post down kind of videos. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.